Hello you wonderful bunch and welcome back to my office. I thought I would put together a quick video talking about a subject that yeah I absolutely love which is vintage toys and specifically I wanted to talk about My Little Ponies. Now I found a bag of ponies on the shelf that I've had kicking around for ages. It owes me a couple of pounds. I got them sorted and I got them listed and I thought while I have some in stock they're listed I can I can let you know my research and, and what prices I'm aiming at. I've already sold some so you can see there is demand and these prices I'm going to quote you are achievable and we'd have a chat about ponies. So if that sounds interesting stick around. <laughs> um, yeah it was a nice little bag they're all G1. Now ponies there are several generations of ponies. G1 is the earlier 1980s kind of first run, if you will. They kind of changed in design over the years. There, there is so much, so many resources online to find out about ponies. There are websites dedicated to them. There are channels on YouTube that talk about them. Um, I'm just going to do a quick overview of it. But these are all G1 ponies and in the main that's what you want. The earlier ones um, will hold the big value. There are exceptions and the later ones, the later generations are collected and there are very high value ones within that. But as a rule of thumb, the earlier ones are the better ones. Quick way to know when you've got an early one. They are stamped on their feet. I'm not going to be... Can you see the writing? There's a tiny little date on there. This one, for example, says 1984, Generation 1, 80s. Um, well, let's start with this. So I had a bag with a bunch of ponies in, not many. I think it owes me two or three pounds. And this is a nice one. This is honeycomb. They all have a different pattern on their rear end. This one has some bees, as you can see. He also has wings, so he's a pegasus pony. <laughs> um, what you're looking for really is condition as well. Look, the hair is really nice, uh, it's not matted. There's no real marks or damage on the plastic. Really nice clean condition. So I'm aiming for 30 on this one. Bit of an unusual one. I think this is also a UK or Europe wide exclusive. And the Americans go nuts for those. Ones that weren't available over there, harder to find for the Americans, you can ask a premium. I'm going for 30 on this one. Uh, we'll see how we get on, but I think that's achievable in that condition. Uh, next, we have a baby. See the comparison in size? This is a tiny little one. And this is baby Applejack. He's got apples on his bum. And again, condition is really nice. Look at the hair, look at the shine on it. It's not matted. And uh, 20 pounds uh, he is listed at. Shouldn't have much trouble achieving that. And then there was, here in this gap, there was a seahorse. I will bring up the pictures from e from the eBay listing on screen here so you can take a look. Um, yeah, this sold quick. It was on at 20. I may have taken an offer at 18, I think it was, but that sold within a day. Um, yeah, they should come with a little like little ring, like a flotation ring that they sit in. Uh, this one didn't have it, but it was in good clean condition and the hair was really nice. Uh, that sold quick on offer. Yeah, I think it was 18. I'm getting arm ache. I'm going to switch arms. <laughs> um, the rest, um, condition wasn't as good and there wasn't as high value, so I did a couple of little bundles. Uh, this one is going out today. This has sold. There's two in here. Now, what are they called? I wrote them down. Tutti Frutti and Sky Dancer. So... The slightly darker, more orange one is Tutti Frutti, and this one, another Pegasus, you see the wing there. Paired those up, and they have sold, I think, at £15. But they sold quick, £15 a pair. I think that had shipping on as well, I can't remember. And another bundle here, I did the three together. So we've got, uh, that's Moonstone in blue. Another Sky Dancer and this one was Posy. 
uh, and they are on at 20 pounds. But something to be aware of with ponies, if you have a pony and you have its original accessories, some of them had clothing, some of them had like roller skates, I know, um, all sorts of accessories. In fact, my Tutti Frutti in here had this balloon with a little clip on the end which clipped onto his legs. So that was quite nice. Um, it's not a particularly rare one and that's now sold. But the accessories do sell. It stands to reason they're the bits that got lost. So here we have three of the brushes that would have originally come with the ponies. Um, I could have sold these in individually, um, but I decided to put them together and I've listed those for £10 for the three brushes. Um, but yeah, the clothing and the accessories. It is surprising what people will pay to complete their ponies. Um, so like I said, there are, there are loads of resources all over the internet. If you want to learn about ponies, I've barely scratched the surface here. Um, another good tip though is, and I did this when I was listing these, is to just take a picture. If you don't know what you've got, you don't know its name, take a picture and use Google Photo um, to search the image. That came back within seconds and named all of these ponies for me. Super, super easy, super quick. So that's a great tip. Um, but like I say, there are websites. Uh, there, there are people on YouTube who have loads of information and talk about ponies and everything you could possibly want to know. It's a great market to get into. They are getting harder to find because people are becoming aware that they are collected and they have value, but they are still out there. They're well over hundred pounds worth from my couple of pounds investment. So you can see it's a subject that is worth getting to know a little bit about. I'm gonna swap you over because my arm is aching again. So there you go. So before the, these ones ship out, these are going out today. I thought I would have a chat about it. Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you buy and sell my little, my little ponies? Have you done well with them? Another quick tip while I think of it is from the G1 range is the boy ponies. And you can tell the boy ponies because they have like furry feet. I'll find a picture of one of the boy ponies and pop it on screen here. They're slightly different body shape and they have furry feet. They can go crazy, like price wise, just bonkers. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for those. So I hope that was interesting. I have barely scratched the surface uh, with my little ponies. Um, I will find a video, Andrea made a video much more in depth about uh, My Little Ponies and researching them and pricing them, naming them, all of that stuff. So I'll dig out that video. So please check this one out if you want to carry on learning about My Little Ponies. And until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.